uh, uh, my company was interested in developing hybrid poplar plantations for biomass power generation. So we were looking at opportunities to do biomass plantations. Uh, we heard about the city of Missoula's interest in this project. I'm, I'm in Missoula, my, I've been based in Missoula for 20 years. And uh, so we contacted the city about whether we might be able to help them get this project uh, moving along. The city had looked into the feasibility of expanding the pilot project and using land application more widely uh, I believe starting in 2004, and they developed a pretty complex uh, feasibility analysis uh, with some scientists. Uh, we went out and took that and began communicating with landowners along the river. We get growing trees, we take carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere, we sell the boards eventually for lumber. Uh, it's just good all the way around. I'm the uh, forester and soil scientist for this uh, project, and uh, my job is to make sure we get the trees in the ground and grow them correctly for about 12 years, and then uh, I'll also be in charge of the harvesting operation. We're looking to plant about uh, 70,000 trees, and uh, they'll be planted as whips, so that's non-rooted cuttings, and they grow really fast. In about 12 years, we expect to be harvesting uh, full saw logs. That's a 16-foot log with a 10-inch top, and those are quite merchantable. We're hoping to pull almost, end product, almost $2 million off of this project. So we began developing uh, expansion using the same parameters that the city's pilot project used for planting and just scaling it up and figuring out the logistics of bringing the water across from the wastewater treatment plant, running it through a drip irrigation system, and, and then managing the trees. And so we partnered with Watershed Consulting, which is a Missoula uh, forestry company with a lot of expertise in restoration forestry and uh, innovative forestry techniques. And uh, the city liked the work and decided to fund the project and so we were selected as the contractor in an open bidding process to implement the project. We're in, right now we're in the process of building the irrigation infrastructure on the field and, we, and then we'll build a pipeline that will connect the wastewater treatment plant to the irrigation and then next spring when that's all in place we'll plant uh, approximately 70,000 trees. Well by great coincidence um, I run and operate a sawmill, Bad Goat Forest Products. So yeah, uh, I'm interested, very interested. Uh, we love poplar wood, it's good stuff. And especially the way we're gonna grow these trees, uh, we're gonna be pruning them every year for high quality wood. So I've really got my eye on maintaining that all the way through to the end. There are a number of states that have experimented with this uh, and uh, this will be the first commercial size project in Montana. Uh, there are other states use uh, land application of wastewater onto other crops besides tree crops. They use it on to irrigate alfalfa uh, tree crops are most appropriate for a city because you don't have to harvest them all the time. They, they sequester a lot of carbon, they use a lot of wastewater, but you don't, have to, you don't have to handle them on an annual basis like you would an agriculture crop like alfalfa. The more of this we can do, the better. It's, it's just, uh, I think, a really good, really good use of, of uh, you know, a really good way to recycle wastewater.